Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. Over the past couple years, I've taken a look at several different power stations and solar generators, ranging in size from small options designed mainly for charging small electronics, all the way to larger ones that could power pretty much anything in your house. However, one thing I have not taken a look at yet is a solar power option that can safely run my entire house and serve a similar function to a standby generator. While some of the larger options that I have can power my most important appliances and devices for quite a while, I still have to hook them up each time that I use them. However, that's changed with the new EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. This is a fully expandable system that can serve as a portable power option like other solar generators or traditional gas generators, but it can also act seamlessly as a full home power solution. Before we get started, I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sending it to us and for sponsoring this video. The Delta Pro Ultra is a modular system that consists of an inverter unit that can hook up to one or more batteries. Each battery has a capacity of 6.1 kilowatt hours and you can add up to five batteries to one inverter. To put that in perspective, the Delta II Max with one extra battery that I tested last summer has a total capacity of four kilowatt hours. If you're using the Smart Home Panel 2, which I'll cover later in the video, you could link three sets of an inverter and five batteries together to give you a total capacity of 90 kilowatt hours, which is a ton of energy. And if you ration the power you're using, that could last you for up to a month, just depending on the size of your house and the things that you're trying to run. But if you can invest that much in battery capacity, there's a very good chance that you can afford to pair it with a very substantial solar array, and when you combine all that together, it should keep you running pretty much indefinitely. The batteries are lithium iron phosphate, which will give them a much longer lifespan than other lithium batteries at around 3,500 charge cycles. That should equate to around 10 years of daily use. To connect an inverter and battery together, just plug one end of the included cable into the battery port on the inverter and the other into the battery itself. One nice thing about the cable is that it can lock in place. This will prevent it from getting pulled out on accident, which is really important with a device that can handle this much power. The Delta Pro Ultra can provide output of up to 7200 running watts, and this is enough to run any appliance or device in your home, including your central air conditioner, electric oven, or clothes dryer. It's also enough to handle multiple devices at one time. During my testing, we had our gas furnace running, which the fan runs on electricity. We had our dishwasher, our fridge, our box freezer, and then also lights running, and that didn't even come close to maxing it out. Now, as far as ports go, we have two USB-C ports for charging devices like cell phones or powering electronics like laptops. Then we got two USB-A ports for other small devices. Then we have four 120 volt AC outlets. And if you look at these covers, they are removable. So if you need to take those off to get them out of the way, you can do that. Then we have one 30 amp RV 120 volt outlet and an L14-30 outlet, which you could use to hook it up to a transfer switch. Then there's one Anderson DC output. It also has a larger power input output port that can be used to connect the Delta Pro Ultra to the Smart Home Panel 2 to provide power to your home. Now, if you think you may want to pick up a Delta Pro Ultra, then be sure to use the links in the description below. And if you use this code, you can get an extra $1,000 off the Delta Pro Ultra and its associated bundles. The first 300 US orders can get a free gift when they purchase the Delta Pro Ultra and the Smart Home Panel 2 together. And since this is a larger ticket item, EcoFlow is offering financing and you can find details for all that in the description below. When it comes to charging the Delta Pro Ultra, you have several options. You can charge it straight from a regular wall outlet in your home using the Xtreme charging port, which will give you up to 1800 watts, which is similar to other things I've tested like the Delta II Max. The large power input output port that I mentioned a second ago can also be used to charge the Delta Pro Ultra from the Smart Home Panel 2 or an EV charging station or traditional gas generator. When charging from the Smart Home Panel 2, it can handle up to 7200 watts of input. Then it also has two separate ports for solar. The first is a low voltage photovoltaic port that can handle up to 1600 watts, and that's good for hooking it up to portable solar panels. 
The larger is a high photovoltaic input that can handle up to 4,000 watts, and this is useful if you have a larger panel array like on the roof of your home. When you combine the two, that gives you 5,600 total watts of solar input, which in turn also gives you the fastest solar charging on the market. The Delta Pro Ultra in its most basic form of an inverter with one battery will weigh around 186 pounds. It does come with a rolling base, but if you plan on moving it around a lot, like if you're going to use it away from your home, or you just want to be able to wheel it out into your yard easier to hook up to some solar panels, I would recommend getting the larger trolley. That'll make it much easier to move around on uneven terrain or load up into a trailer. With that trolley, the system is about the same size as a mid-size gas generator. The Delta Pro Ultra also has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to allow you to control it via the EcoFlow app remotely, but if you're keeping it at a more remote site like an off-grid cabin, it also has a 4G dongle that you can use to connect it to a cellular network, which would allow you to control it from anywhere. With the app, you'll be able to see power levels, turn outputs on and off, and do other things like manage the charging speed. That's useful if you want to charge the Delta Pro Ultra from a gas generator but still have enough power to run other things with that generator as well, or if you just want to tone down that charging speed to be a little bit easier on your batteries. The Delta Pro Ultra also has EcoFlow's X cooling structure which prevents the device from overheating even under heavy loads and it comes with a 5 year warranty. And while the Delta Pro Ultra works well as a portable power option, where I think it really shines is as a whole home backup power option, and this can be done using EcoFlow's new Smart Home Panel 2 or a traditional 30 or 50 amp transfer switch. Any one of those options would allow you to use the Delta Pro Ultra to power your home's most important circuits, but for my setup, I'm going to be using the Smart Home Panel 2. During normal times, when my home's getting power from the grid, it just acts as a sub-panel that provides power to the circuits that I consider to be the most important. But when the power goes out, it'll automatically transition over to the Delta Pro Ultra. Using default settings, this takes around 2 seconds, but you can turn on EPS mode in the app, which will shorten that time to 20 milliseconds. That's nice since the switch happens so fast that most electronics will continue to work uninterrupted. Like this morning, I killed the main power to my house while my son was in the living room watching YouTube videos, and when I came back in the house, the router was still working, the video was still going like it should be. The only downside that I've noticed when having EPS mode activated is that the Delta Pro Ultra will drain itself a little faster when not in use. But regardless of if you have EPS mode activated or not, if you lose power while you're sleeping or at work, important things like your refrigerator and freezer will continue to work without you having to do a thing. Then once the power comes back on, the Smart Home Panel 2 can be used to recharge the Delta Pro Ultra. And aside from emergency power, you can also use the Delta Pro Ultra and Smart Home Panel 2 to help reduce your electric bill. If you have solar panels on your home, you could run on solar for certain parts of the day and then grid power for others. You could also use it in situations where maybe you have an electric plan that gives you free nights. You could use solar or a battery backup during as much of the day as possible. And then at night, you could charge that up so it's ready for the next day. The Smart Home Panel 2 can also be installed in a lot of different home configurations. In most of the literature you see, the entire thing is installed somewhere like a garage right next to your home's main breaker panel. But my house is a little bit different. The main breaker panel is located on the back of the house on the total opposite end of the home from the garage. So in my case, the breaker portion of the Smart Home Panel 2 was installed next to the main panel, and the portion with the plugs for the Delta Pro Ultra was installed in my garage. That was necessary since the Delta Pro Ultra itself is not weatherproof, so you can't keep it outside. The Smart Home Panel 2 can also be set up to accept power from a traditional gas generator during times where you're not getting enough power from solar, and it comes with an interlock switch to do that safely. Now getting into practical use, here I've chosen 12 circuits that I think would be most useful for me and my family during different kinds of grid down situations, whether they're short term or long term. And to start off with, I have the ones that run the fridge and then also my box freezer. The one for my fridge also powers our built-in microwave and an outlet in our kitchen that we could use to run something like a crock pot or electric griddle. Then another thing that I wanted to be able to run is our bedrooms. Here I got the master bath and then also have our spare bedroom. What that'll let us do is allow us to keep ceiling fans running and then also outlets in those rooms. 
And that's important because during summer power outages, we'll be able to keep the fan on, we'll be able to plug in something like a window AC. And while this setup can run a central air conditioner, I didn't choose to do that for mine. I did, however, tie it into our furnace fan since we have a gas heater that uses a lot less electricity. Then I also have this setup to provide power in some other locations like our living room. That's where our modem and our router is and both my wife and I do need internet for our jobs. So if we have just a short term power outage, we'll still be able to do anything that we need to do. Now, of course, the internet won't be working if the apocalypse happens, but in, you know, 99.9% .9 of the other situations, that would be useful. I also have it set up to provide power to the garage so that I can open and shut the garage door. I've had situations where the power has died right as I was leaving for work, so I had to open and shut it manually and then figure out how I was going to keep that locked up throughout the day. And being able to do it from backup power is just a whole lot easier. Then I could always do things like turn off circuits or just unplug things if I thought a situation was going to last for a little longer. And overall, I think that the Delta Pro Ultra is going to be an absolute game changer for my family's backup energy preps. It's going to make short power outages like they never even happen, and it's going to give us some really good options for longer term situations. Once again, I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.